If you are using QuickBooks to manage your inventory, then you can order new inventory whenever you're running low by entering a purchase order. Let's go over how to order and account for new inventory using a purchase order. Then we will go over what to do when you receive your new inventory. If you haven't already created inventory products in QuickBooks, you will need to do that first. To start, let's make sure you have Purchase Orders enabled in QuickBooks. Select Settings, then Account and Settings. Click on the Expenses tab. If the Purchase Orders option is not enabled, you can do it here. Select the Edit icon and enable Use Purchase Orders. You can also add custom fields, enable custom transaction numbers, or create a default message for all purchase orders. When you are done, select Save. Now, let's get started. Go to Get Paid and Pay, then select Products and Services. Here, you can see which products are low or out of stock. If you see a product you need to reorder, check on the box of the product. Then, select the drop-down menu from Batch Actions. Select Reorder to open a purchase order. If you want to include multiple items on the same purchase order, you can select them all. Then, under Batch Actions, select Reorder. Select the supplier you want to order from. If you set up a preferred supplier for your product, you'll see one selected already, but you can change it if you need to. The shipping address is your address, but if you want your order to be delivered directly to a customer's address, you can do so under Ship To. Fill in Ship Via if there is a specific carrier you want your supplier to use. Under Item Details, Enter all the items you want to order. Enter in the quantity you want to order. Notice that if you hover over this, QuickBooks will show you the quantity you have on hand and your reorder point. You can adjust the rates and amounts for individual products as needed. You can also add more products to the purchase order. Just select them from the drop down menu or add them if you don't see them. You can also add a message to your supplier, add a memo or attachments. Once you are done, you can select Save and Send or select another Save option to send it later. Here is a customizable email that QuickBooks will send to your supplier along with the purchase order. If everything looks good, select Save and Close. If you go to Get Paid and Pay and Suppliers, you can see your new purchase order listed there. Once you have sent it off, your supplier can start processing your order. A purchase order itself does not change your inventory levels, it's just an order with your supplier. When you receive your inventory from your supplier, you will have to record how you paid for it. You can enter it as an expense, a cheque or a bill, depending on how you are paying for the inventory. This adjusts your inventory quantity and handles all the accounting. If you have received and paid for the inventory already, then you will enter a cheque if you have paid by cheque. Record it as an expense if you have paid by any other method. If you haven't paid yet and your supplier has given you a bill with a due date, then enter a bill. These methods are all similar to each other. For this example, we shall enter a bill. Select your supplier. Since you have an open purchase order with them, you will see it over here. Select Add to add the details of the purchase order to your bill. If the amount of inventory you received or the price you paid for it is different from what was on the purchase order, you can change it here. Once you are done, select the Save option. Now, if you go to Get Paid and Pay and Products and Services, 
you will see that QuickBooks has updated the inventory quantity on hand based on your purchase order and the subsequent bill. Now you know how to enter a purchase order in QuickBooks Online. Thank you.